Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to order a 5M server or how to set up a 5M server in just under five minutes. Now, obviously, I'm not including the time. Um, I'm going to do some explaining and stuff like that um, just around our site. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys haven't noticed, if you've seen CQ before, you'll notice we're on a new look on the website. Um, but yeah, so let's first of all go to the 5M page. So obviously our 5M servers are very unique um, in a sense of as a game server it's automatically set up for you so you don't have to go through the process of installing it, opening ports, anything like that. Um, and just to be clear this is not a VPS, it'll be hosted as a game server. Um, now we've also got um, just a few of the things that we can support. So we've got instant server activation, meaning we we try and get it 100% of the time where we'll instantly activate it or it'll be set up within 10 minutes. Um, in rare cases, however, it will require us to kind of manually go through and do that, which has a kind of 24 hour maximum. We've got powerful hardware, so we use all the best i9-9900K CPUs with DDR4 RAM and SSD NVMe storage. We've also got support for TX Admin, which is a lot of the kind of game server hosts don't actually allow. Um, we can support TX Admin. If you just get in touch with us, we'll open the necessary ports for you to do that. Um, all our plans are listed here. Um, obviously, if you need a specific port, we can try our best. If not, you can purchase a dedicated IP for 250 extra a month, which is that pretty much guarantees you that port. Um, how many slots? Just the kind of common questions again. We don't limit any player slots, however, you will need to have a CFX.re key for this. Um, and as long as you've got that kind of key, you'll be good to go. Um, why game server instead of a VPS? So game servers are typically cheaper as they allow for easy access using our game panel and automatically install the 5M game files to avoid you having to. Um, and do we restrict many assets that you can have? We absolutely do not. Um, we offer un unmetered storage in all of our plans. However, I would advise you that the amount of assets you may have, um, it, it could affect your performance depending on the plan you're on. So here we go. What we're going to do, we're going to go with our one star plan. Uh, we're going to select, as you'll see, it'll take you to your billing panel here um, where you'll be logged in or you'll have to log in. Um, I'm going to do it without the dedicated IP address. Continue. So it's now going to ask me to pop in my discount code. Oh. That's an interesting one, um, but effectively, once we've done that, um, it should, obviously you guys don't need to worry about the, the kind of discount code because it should just let you order, but effectively what you're going to do, um, you're going to press the checkout button there. It's then going to take you through and do the payment side of it where you'll pay for your server. You can do it via PayPal. Um, obviously, PayPal is the most secure way to pay. Um, it's trusted around the world by millions and millions of merchants. Um, and it allows you to be in complete control of when you need to cancel. So um, obviously if you did decide to cancel, you'd be able to do that through our billing panel, but you'd also need to cancel the recurring transaction through your PayPal just to avoid being billed again. Okay, so what I'll do, I'm going to jump ahead and I'll get you guys once we've submitted this order. Okay guys, so as you'll see what it's done, it's automatically created me uh, the invoice here, which allow me to then effectively get to my product. So what we're going to do on the left hand side of the page, you're going to select services, my services, and you should see your 5M hosting right there. We're going to press 5M hosting. Now as you'll see you can do basic control functions here. What I would recommend is you wait until your server is fully installed before you touch anything here. Um, but we're going to just let the server kind of install there. You should receive an email from us titled account created. Um, once we have received that email saying account created, we can go ahead and nip over to our game panel because the server is now fully installed, set up and it's been paid for. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump over there in just a second and you'll be able to see our 5M server. Okay guys, welcome back. Now as you'll see, we're currently on our 5M server here. You'll see it's installed as my server. We're going to go to our server and as you'll see, it's ready to go. Um, the only things we'll need to make sure to change is the startup line here. So we'll need to change our license key. So this can be changed to whatever you want to, to make the server start. Um, it usually will show up as change me. 
um, where it'll force you to change it. Now obviously if you try and start it, it's not going to start. So in order to do this, all we have to do is we have to go to the 5M Keymaster website and we're going to need to grab a license key. So what I'll do, I'm going to nip over there, grab a license key and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so what you're going to do, um, once you have went through the process of having your server installed, we are going to very quickly go on here to the CFX.re Keymaster. We're going to label our server. Obviously that's whatever you want it to look like in your CFX.re account. Um, you'll enter in your server IP address, which will be provided via our game panel. I'm not going to do it in this kind of example. I'm not going to put that in. Um, but, but yeah, that's what you'll have to do. Server type VPS, server provider VPS, and then all you'll have to do is press generate. Once you've pressed generate, um, it will then generate the key. Um, and then I'm just going to zip forward and we'll take that key and we will put that into our server. Okay guys, welcome back. What we're going to do, we're going to go to where it says 5M license. We're going to pop in our license key. It'll now change your startup command. Now it automatically saves, um, so everything here is absolutely fine. We're then going to go back to console, press start server. If you give it a minute or two, it'll load it up. Because this is the first time starting, it may be a little bit slower than we're used to. But yeah, server's running already. It's been verified, authenticated with CFX to RE Nucleus, um, and your server is now completely online. Um, players can now connect, and you'll be good to go in terms of if you want to put any assets into the server or anything like that. All right. Um, hopefully that guy has helped you a little bit in terms of getting a 5M server set up, the CQ servers. Um, and if you've got any questions, don't be afraid to absolutely bomb the comments with any questions. Get in touch with our support. Again, I'll leave links all in the comments. Um, or, you know, order a server and check us out via live chat or whatever like that that, um, that you'd like to. Join our Discord, anything like that. We're happy enough to give you guys a hand. Okay, thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.